Now, Chris, I've been meaning to have a chat with you. I'm sure you're well aware of company policy and the terms of your employment. Of course. Well, recently it's been brought to my attention that you might be in violation of your contract. Several of your co-workers are beginning to find your presence in the office somewhat uncomfortable for them. I'm afraid we can't employ bears here at P. Sampson's, and we're going to have to terminate your contract. I'm sorry, Chris, but had I been aware of this issue earlier, we could have addressed it then, but we just can't have you here. Is this a joke? Far from it. We're taking this issue very seriously. Originally, I had wanted to dismiss it as a rumour, but I've just had far too many complaints. We simply cannot employ bears. I'm sorry, Chris. Yeah, man, that sucks. I have no idea what I'm going to tell Jane. You haven't told her yet? Well, she's been at work all day. Chris! I know. I'll tell her tonight. I just... I can't get over it. Have you ever heard of someone being fired for... for this? Well, I don't really know anyone in your circumstance, so no. Wait. You realise why he fired me? Everyone at the office thinks I'm some kind of fucking bear. Well, yeah. Do you think I'm a bear? Well, I had it in pretty good authority that you were a bear, Chris. I am clearly not a bear, Jamie. Okay, kill yourself. There's no need to get all grizzly about it. So, first he tells me I can't work there anymore because apparently everyone thinks I'm some kind of animal. And then I go to talk to Jamie about it, you know, like, for comfort. And he tells me the exact same thing. Can you believe that? It's... yeah. Weird. It's ridiculous. Chris, I can't do this anymore! I can't be in a relationship with a bear! This can't work! I can't believe you didn't even tell me! You just waited for me to find out on my own! We're supposed to trust each other! And bees for me means one thing, honey. And look, you can actually see, you have a look in there. here with one of my favorite bears, it's Mr. Chocolate. Hey, Mr. Chocolate. He's been with me for over a decade and he's been my good friend. May I inquire what kind, sir? Striped? Check? Hi mum, it's me. Uh, can you call me back when you get this message please? I am. Um, I just need someone to talk to. Thanks. Come fall upon my 
my shoulders scarred and and dissolve all of the worry that has hunched this back of mine. So let the hurt run down the drain to the reservoir. One day I'll add a drop to my own worries to a drown. Drink or something? Yes, please. So how long have you been living out here then? By a month. Mind if I ask why? I'm a bear. You're a bear? No, a bear. Fair enough, I suppose. Have you always been a bear? I don't think so. Pretty sure I used to be a person, but things change, I guess. Yeah, I can understand that, mate. I used to be a lawyer. They told me, get a decent job, buy a decent house, loads of money, nice things. That'll make you happy. <laughs> and one day I looked in the mirror and I thought, that guy's an arsehole. So I packed it in. You can't have people telling you who you are, what you're going to be, and where you're going to go. And most people are assholes anyway. Yeah. 